presentation is going to show you the fascinating world of uh, exporting SPSS output into Word, which can be quite a useful thing to do, uh, especially if you fancy writing an SPSS textbook. Uh, then it's an incredibly useful thing to do, and uh, I heartily recommend that you all go out and write one. Um, Okay, there's a couple of ways that we can do this. The first is we can export individual tables or graphs. So we've got our output here. We could, for example, select a table with our mouse, then right click with the mouse and select copy, like so. And then in Word, if we go to paste special, we can paste it as a, a, a formatted piece of text. So there you go, we've got a table in Word looks absolutely beautiful, I think you'll agree. When I say beautiful, obviously I mean dull, but there you go. And once it's in Word, we can obviously mess around with it just like any other table in Word. So that's the first way to do it. We can do much the same with graphs as well. So if we selected this graph, right click with the mouse, copy, then in Word, paste special. And here we've got various options. We can paste it as a bitmap, for example, which is um, probably a reasonable thing to do, actually. Um, essentially, well, these options are, are much of a muchness in a way, but we can, for example, put it in as a bitmap like that. So that's the first way to do it, and that's fine if you want to cut and paste, you know, kind of small, small bits of output. But if you had a big output, so you wanted to, well, this is not a particularly big output, but if we wanted to export all of this at the same time, um, there is actually a function in the file menu called export. So if you select that, uh, you can see that we can either export all of our output, all the visible output, so uh, that won't include stuff that we've hidden with the little book icon, um, or just bits of the output that we've selected. So let's go for all visible, because we don't want any of the log files that we hid in one of the previous movies. and we can export it in all sorts of ways, so we can uh, export it as a PDF or as an HTML file, a PowerPoint presentation or a Word document. Uh, the procedure is kind of much the same, uh, so we'll, we'll go for a Word document. Uh, you can choose down here using a standard browse menu where you want to uh, put this file uh, and you can give it a sensible name, so I don't actually know what a sensible name will be for this. <laughs> Uh, let's call it test, shall we? Um, and there are various options that you can change. Uh, one particularly good option here is to shrink wide tables so that they fit uh, within the margins of the page. If you don't do that, you'll tend to find that the tables overhang the side of the page. Um, and if you wrap them, then it, will get, it can get a bit messy because you get half a table on one page and the rest of it on another page. However, if you're going to shrink it, you need to make sure that your tables are not too big because otherwise it will shrink it so small that you won't be able to read any of the text. Um, other than that, I mean, you've just most of these other options are you know, down to personal preference. So click on continue and click on OK and what it will do is save you a Word file. And as if by magic, when I open that Word file, uh, here's what it looks like. So it's got all of our output and you can see for uh, this table is quite a wide table. If we compare it on the SPSS output down here, it's very long and wide and it's uh, when exporting it because we chose to shrink it, it's shrunk that table so that it fits and we have our graph as well. That's a really straightforward way if you want to export a lot of output into Word then uh, you, can, you can do it in one go which is uh, pretty handy, really. Now, honestly, it kind of is, 